Okay, I was looking for a new belly band holster specifically to use just while running. Um, I've got one of these older, just a nylon band that goes around, got a couple of little stitched pockets in the, on the side to, to, to holster a gun. Uh, not a great product, doesn't really provide a whole lot of protection for the trigger itself. Um, and it just wasn't nearly as comfortable uh, going on, on runs. So I was looking for something specifically that had a holster, a real holster um that was part of the system so i ended up settling on the crossbreed uh modular belly band 2.0 uh, i've been on one run with it so far went on a three mile run two days ago and pretty impressed with it uh overall i ordered it with the additional uh, magazine pouch which i would not do again uh, if i'd known a little bit more about the setup ahead of time i probably wouldn't have bothered with it i'm sure i could return that uh, they seem to have a good return policy, but I probably won't bother with it. So what I'm running with is a Glock 43. Um, and uh, again, my, my initial impressions with the, the whole setup is, is pretty good. It's a much heavier neoprene style material. Uh, really strong Velcro attachments. Uh, the inside, very comfortable as I was running. Uh, weren't any hot points or anything like that that was rubbing it. It holds securely. So it definitely is a tight band uh, once you get it all set up and wrapped around. If I were to go back and order it again, I probably would have ordered the next size up. I went with a medium and based on their recommended method of measuring what size to get, I was on the outer edges of a medium. Um, probably could have gone with the large. Uh, I guess it'll just give me a little motivation to, to get out and run a little bit more. Uh, so as far as the setup itself is concerned, pretty straightforward. Um, I found it easiest to put on and then position the holster, but the holster generally is going to sit here on, on the edge of the Velcro. You can adjust it however you want as far as can't. Uh, it is pretty nice as far as the adjustability and finding what setup works for you. Uh, the holster itself holds the gun pretty securely. Uh, it does not have a separate tension screw on it but uh, you can tell it's it's holding it in there pretty securely the other thing that that i like is once you have the gun positioned wherever it is that you want it and when you put it on the whole thing covers that outer neoprene strap covers the holster itself and just provides even more um, security of that up against your body Again, I don't have anything, I didn't have any problems with it rubbing um, against my skin. It uh, doesn't have any, you know, extension on the back panel or anything like that. Uh, but again, from, from my one experience to this point, very secure, very solid, and very comfortable to run with. Um, I normally am uh, carrying my uh, Glock 19 appendix, so that's basically how I've been setting this up. I'm still playing around a little bit with holster position and also the exact location of how I'm positioning this uh, on my body as I go for go for a run. So we'll uh, I'll put it on here and we'll go out to the range in a little bit as well and just see how it uh, how it looks and how it performs. All right, well you can see I put it on here just uh, over my t-shirt. Obviously this isn't the way I'm running with it. Um, and, and I'm not running with any kind of shirt underneath the band. So just to position it basically so you can see where I've got it. On the free running end, you've got that heavy Velcro here. And then you've got another, you've got the, the loop side back here, which attaches to uh, the belt. You can get it started and then with the holster itself, position that however you want with whatever kind of cant you want, etc. And of course you can twist the belt to where you want it position wise but this is generally where where I'm starting off and then you take that free running end come all the way across the holster and and yeah you're cinching it down tight it's not moving anywhere um very secure you can see there I'm not at all worried about this falling out but I got total protection over the the trigger guard um with where I'm running I'm not at all concerned about printing or anything like that but uh with as close as that is with just the loose running shirt never going to see it. And so, so far, real happy with it. Um, doesn't rub, it holds secure, and it's very comfortable. So we'll go out to the range, uh, probably do a little bit of a few draws and, and see how it looks.
All right, so this would be pretty typical of something I wear running. Um, you can tell, I've, I, well, I've got the gun and an extra magazine on. Uh, you can tell it hides it really well. Maybe prints just a little bit. Uh, but again, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, but holds it real nice and tight. Um, super comfortable. It's not moving anywhere. I'll do a couple draws real quick just to show as far as accessibility and, and it is, it's real easy, especially being able to adjust the cant, how you want to position the holster there. Uh, so it's uh, easiest for you to draw. We'll do a couple of them real quick. So initial impressions with the uh, crossbreed modular belly band 2.0, uh, very pleased with it. Uh, gun is held securely, it's comfortable uh, to run in and uh, easy to access as well. So I think I'll get a lot of good use out of it. Uh, if my opinions change anywhere along the way as I continue to run in it and use it, I'll certainly let you know. A uh, couple things to just really make sure when you do order one of these, check where you're going to um, where you plan to wear it and make sure you make a, a good measurement uh, so you order the right size and again my opinion there's no reason to order the additional mag carriers the the, the pockets that are already there uh, more than adequate to hold an extra magazine so hope that helps if you want uh, hit subscribe hit the like pay or hit the like button and uh, I'll try and get a couple more videos out here soon thanks